Hey, we're talking adaptation today. As a, as a strength conditioning coach, I've typically always referenced adaptation from a physiological standpoint. Okay, what basically that means is that we have a baseline that we come into. We apply some sort of strain. Our body's ability to handle that or readiness in the moment may be decreased for a small period of time. But through planning and the ability to recover or reduction of a load during a period of time, I can actually establish a new baseline. This right here, this change is what we call supercompensation or the actual adaptation. I'm adapting to the stressor that was put on me to be able to handle that stressor in the future. Now, I've been super excited in different types of practice design, learning design, and how we can increase our, the transfer of some of our physical traits over to the field and how we can do that through representative learning designs and actually how we program our practice, whether it's individual periods, group periods, or team periods. And the other idea of adaptation is putting athletes in situations where they have to solve problems. So we actually break it down, not from a reductionist standpoint, like do this, do this, do this, but we break the actual uh, skill down or thing that they have to complete on the field and allow them to solve it within their own system. Okay, so we're not uh, just throwing them out and, and just saying play ball, but we're creating an environment for them to create a, a, a system that they can be successful. You know, if I'm going to teach someone to field a ground ball, I'm just going to hit them a bunch of ground balls from a different bunch of different angles at different speeds. If I'm working with a field sport, maybe I'm going to change the velocity or spacing of, of, of teammates, of opponents, and allow them to organize within that to solve the problem. So we're essentially forcing adaptation from a problem-solving lens. So two different types of adaptation. we got physiological adaptation and problem-solving adaptation.